Katibu msimamizi katika wizara masuala ya ndani Daktari Karanja Kibicho ameongoza kamati inayokagua miradi iliyoanzishwa na Rais hususan eneo la Pwani kwenye mradi wa chuo anuwai cha utalii katika kaunti ya Kilifi. Mradi huu ulianzishwa mwaka na kumi na mbili unatarajiwa kukamilika Julai mwaka ujao. Njeri Masi ana ripoti zaidi. <tos> Huku ziara ya kamati ya maendeleo ikiingia siku ya pili leo katika mkoa wa Pwani akizungumza na wanabari katika chuo wai cha Ronald Ngala utalii na ambacho kinaendelea kukarabatiwa katibu msimamizi wa wizara ya masuala ya ndani daktari Karanja Kibishu amesema kwamba mradi huu ulioanzishwa katika mwaka mbili na unaonuiwa kutoa mafunzo ya utalii kwa sasa umekamilika asilimia sabini na moja na inatarajiwa kuwa ifikapo mwezi wa saba mwaka huu pande mkubwa wa mradi huu utakuwa umekamilika uh, in the hospitality industry uh, at completion uh, this project supposed to accommodate 1000 uh, students and it has all the accompanying facilities for training in hospitality industry paying special attention to the maritime sector and we are here to just check and inspect uh, the level of completion. <coughs> I said uh, the first phase of this project that will uh, uh, consist of uh, the administration block, two tuition blocks, uh, the dining and the kitchen, and uh, uh, some uh, one hostel. Uh, we will have uh, some staff quarter. There are those that have been isolated as first phase. Those are the ones that are at 71% and will be completed this year, I think, by... Daktari Karanja ajakanusha madai kuwa mradi huu ulikuwa umekwama ila ameeleza kuwa uhaba wa fedha za kufadhili mradi huu ndio chanzo cha kuchelewesha kukamilika kwake. Had its uh, issues in terms of... Uh, uh, availability of funds. Remember these are projects that were started in the other regime uh, of uh, the third president uh, Mwai Kibaki and I think the handing over of those projects. There are quite a number of them that were flagship projects then and uh, because of its importance then uh, funding has been directed uh, uh, to it and I think uh, when a project delays there yeah, are obviously uh, costs that accompany that delay uh, in terms of mobilization of uh, the contractors, in terms of uh, changes of even prices. And I think uh, as, pe as a people we must learn to appreciate these realities. The cost of cement in 2012 is very different from cost of cement today. And therefore if we are to be fair even to the contractor, we will look at what was uh, the cost then and what is the cost now and adjust accordingly if we are ever going to complete this project. Otherwise, we will continue having the contractors abandon these sites if we are not real. Mrandi huu amba unatarajiwa kugarimu serikali shilingi biloni nane. Unatarajiwa kukamilika ifikapo mwezi wa julai mwaka ujao. Completion level hii project kwa hile face ene imeamuliwa ni 71%. Uh, ile kitu imefanya tukuja hapa ndiyo kuangalia ni vipi tutapea support uh, wizara ya tourism ndiyo hii project ikamilike kwa ile muda wamepeana wa julai mwaka huu vile vile kamati hii imetembelea mradi wa kujenga shule ya upili ya mamangina na ambayo itakuwa shule ya kitaifa kamati hii imedhibitisha kuwa mwaka huu shule hii itakuwa imekamilika ili kuweza kusaidia wanafunzi elfu moja. Uh, moja ni hii shule na sisi tunaangalia work plan sijui CS alisema nini lakini tunaangalia work plan shule kama mwalimu alivyosema wako na 100 million 100 million itakuwa ya kutosha kujenga phase 2 yenye iko na expectation ya kuaccommodate wanafunzi 1000 Njeri Masi Runinga ya Boss Kilifi